Today is February 9th and this is vlog number 3. Hi everyone, my name is David from Simple Aviation and I am at Vienna International Airport right now. It is 4.45 in the morning and I'm on my way to Munich, Germany right now to fly aboard Lufthansa's first Airbus A350 to Hamburg. So I'm basically flying from Vienna to Munich, then to Hamburg, then back to Munich and then back to Vienna all in the same day. That's like a typical filming day for me. This happens to me like what? once a month, maybe all, every other month, but that's okay. Um, I hope to finish this vlog today in the evening so that you don't have to wait for it. Though, you know, I get up, I got up at 3.30 in the morning today, so I don't know whether I have the energy to cut this vlog when I get back home at 10 p.m. But I will try my best. Red Bull is my friend, it will help me. And um, yeah, thank you very much for joining me on today's journey. Let's go. So I just arrived in Munich and I'm now waiting for the Airbus A350 to arrive. I'm already at the gate, KO3, and in a few minutes we, or in a few minutes, in about uh, one and a half hours we will depart from uh, Munich to Hamburg on Lufthansa flight LH350. Of course, what other flight number would there be? So we're now waiting for the A350. Meanwhile, I will enjoy the free buffet they have here. All right, here we are after uh, two more seat changes. I'm now on 4K, which has a quite nice wing view. Um, the seat itself is not as uncomfortable as I thought because lots of people complain about the 222 configuration for the A350, but it's not too bad. Very brief seat review. So first we have a reading light, which is already standard aboard um, all kind of business class aircraft. Here we have the uh, control pad for, for the seat. In here we have a remote control for the in-flight entertainment system, which is located here in the front. You can move it all the way to the side here. Of course, you can close it so you can see a little bit more. Um, back here is a little footrest, and I'm not sure whether this is... <laughs> this is definitely not for stowage, but that one down there, I don't know. Thank you very much. No, I can't. Thank you. A press kit. Lots of useful information. Um, here we have another storage compartment. 
it looks like this is for at first I thought this is for both seats but this is just for me because there's a second one for the other seat um, here we have uh, something for literature um, yeah down here we have a universal power outlet what I am still missing is a USB port but I I'm almost sure that there is one somewhere and there are the headphones <laughs> if I'll find the, uh, the USB port I will let you know alright if not I will probably won't let you know because I forget about it so if I don't show you a USB port there probably wasn't one on behalf of your Lufthansa crew on duty today we would like to show you the safety features on board. We would appreciate your attention. Accessing the mobile network is not permitted when this site is eliminated. up taking pictures data restriction so it's not like the whole flight but it's actually just 40 megabytes it's a whole flight and no volume restriction which is, which is really nice and the USB port I was talking about earlier it is right down here um, we're now approaching Hamburg we might do some kind of sightseeing flight over Hamburg if it's not too cloudy or windy and we'll probably also do a low pass over Finkenwerder airport so I think there's uh, gonna be some cool shots here uh, so far I've really enjoyed the flight and uh, thank you very much for the Lufthansa for inviting me to this flight.
Bild rechts, ganz rechts, direkt unter uns, die Elbphilharmonie. Ein wunderbarer Blick auf die Elbphilharmonie auf der rechten Seite. non-alcoholic beverages during the flight, that's why we knew for the passengers as well. We do help ourselves uh, during the flight. Uh, we have new ovens, that means it's more comfortable to, to eat uh, special meals. New is, uh, the coffee maker has a new design, but well, it's more or less the same like before, but it's just have a new design. And new is a water heater, maybe to prepare some tea during the flight. And we have a new espresso machine from Nespresso. It's working with the tabs during the flight, just for business class passengers to prepare espresso during the flight as well. And absolutely new is as well the so-called uh, galley waste diffuser. We can just get liquids in here during the flight, so we don't have to use any waste boxes. We use this one before. It just throw it into the waste, and now we can use this one. It's much more comfortable and more efficient. Perfect, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, so we have a new light system here on board. So we have 24 different sceneries. Um, we have a day mode and a night mode. And um, we have a selection. We have a special light when we start boarding. And uh, we have a special light for takeoff. It always depends if it is day or night. And then um, for our passengers, we have a special night, uh, light for dinner. Um, so it's a warm light, um, it's cozy, it's nice, it's relaxing. 
and uh, later on for sleeping. Um, it's getting very slowly dark um, and uh, light is going down. Um, for wake up, um, it's a little bit colder light, more blue. Um, so it's um, helping passengers getting up. Um, um, it's refreshing, and um, so they have no jet lag and uh, feel uh, uh, better when they leave the airport. Yeah. So like in contrast to older planes, when it was like this and the yeah. air lights were on, and yeah. it was horrible to wake up. This is now very slowly and it's much slowly, more comfortable. Slowly, and much more comfortable for passengers, of course. Okay. Thank you very much. You're Thank you. Illuminated strips on the floor of the aircraft will guide you to these exits.